So this is the uh, EJ25 out of my 98 Outback. And unfortunately, the importance of using anti-seize was ignored. And I wanted to take my plug out, cylinder one, it snapped right there. So I was just left with this and the cylinder. And uh, well, the valve cover's off now, but even with it off, you can see how far in that is. So luckily with the valve cover off, I was able to use this extractor that I got. Straight flute instead of the spiral kind. And so you just hammer this down into there. I just used a, since it was too far down, I just used a punch and a hammer and tapped it in there as well as I could. I didn't want to overdo it, so I had to do it over again a few times because the metal was kind of just shredding. Unfortunately, I thought it wasn't going to work, but it eventually did. And I just hosed it down with PV Blaster over and over again. And luckily it came out clean. Um, there were still some shavings in there though, but I was able to get out with a magnet. At least I hope I got them all out. So well, the other thing I'm gonna do is basically just hose down the inside of the cylinder with WD-40, leave the plugs out and then crank it before I actually start it. And that'll blast out. Hopefully anything else that's in there, let's come right back out of the spark plug hole on top of the cylinder head. And uh, yeah, so I guess I lucked out on that one. That was pretty tricky. I did have to take the engine out. But um, this one's not too bad to get out. It only takes a couple hours probably. So yeah, use anti-seize. That's the moral of the story.